broadcasting from the center of the artistic universe. Anyway, my center of the artistic universe, which is my studio. And uh, I'm going to make a comment on something that has really disturbed me tremendously. Well, uh, there are a lot of things that disturb me tremendously. I'm just looking outside and we have a cloudy day and what really struck me is that the chemtrails are actually, uh, they supersede any kind of cloud. You cannot mistake the, uh, the level of chemtrails that are being perpetrated on, on us, on humanity, whatever they're dispersing into the skies, the aluminums and uh, metals and whatever it is that, it, it's brutal, it, it is infuriating. Well, that disturbs me, but I'm gonna talk about another topic that disturbs me greatly, and that is the recent developments around Kevin Annett, Kevin Annett and the ITCCS, the International Tribunal of Crimes of Church and State, and the Common Law Court of Brussels, and a person that is calling, that is named, he calls himself, he's probably named this, Alfred Lebermont Weber. Now, I have been paying attention to Alfred Lebermont Weber because he has been interviewing Kevin Annette and his progress to actually having an effect in real life, in, in a real way, against the pedophiles, the perpetrators, the criminals who are responsible for ritual child abuse, uh, the murder of children on this planet. Two million children are abducted and lost every year. Oh, da, da, da. Well, where did they go? Oh, well, okay, a few more children gone. It doesn't matter because they're not really, uh, what is it? They don't really pay taxes, I guess. Whatever the reason, the establishment, why is there not much more interest in the fact that children are being abducted, lost, abused, murdered? Well, probably because they don't pay taxes. They don't actually provide, they don't provide money to the elites, the slavery, the slavery that actually, that is the system that we call democracy or communism or whatever, socialism, they're all systems of slavery of some extent or another. It is the use, abuse of people. The way China is employing people at 30 cents a day or an hour or whatever it is, this is outrageous. And children are the poster child of abuse. Well, poster child, what, a, what, what, what am I talking about? Children represent the essence of who we are. When I think about myself as an artist, as a creative person, it is the child within me that I've managed to keep alive. The child that is curious, the child that wants to have an answer, the child that is searching. This is the nature of art. Art is predicated on the child. And how do, how, if we cannot preserve the child within us, we will not preserve the child that is in real life. We need to support the vulnerability that is around us. We need to protect the vulnerability that is around us. And for me, my comment today is about Kevin Annett. Kevin Annett, who has been an advocate on behalf, on behalf of the native community, the, the uh, Canadian natives, the First Nations, and the residential schools who have decimated the native community in, in one form or another. The, the axiom of the government of Canada was to drive the native out of the native child, to get rid of the Indian in the native child. This was a policy in Canada until 1992 when the last residential school was shut down. This was going on. The North American native genocide has been ongoing since Columbus landed his pathetic fucking ship on this 
continent. And no matter what white man says, I'm a white man, and I, I am ashamed of it in regard to the, the, the fact that the native communities of this continent were decimated in South America and North America. The genocide of the native communities of this, of this continent, of, of North America, of South America. And my comment now is directly related to this Kevin Annette controversy. Kevin Annett. I have not met Kevin Annett. I have actually never contributed any money to Kevin Annett. I have known Kevin Annett through Stephen Schellenberg. And Stephen has not come out on, on this particular issue at this point. I think he has his thoughts, he has his ideas. And I think what has happened now with this Alfred Lebermont Weber, who by the way, I have not I have not had any interest whatsoever in this man's philosophy. He seems a little bit demented to me actually in the way he presents himself. He is not a person of integrity the way he presents himself. And now he has confirmed to me in his last YouTubes, in his last presentations on Kevin Annette, he has thrown Kevin Annette under the bus. He has thrown the child under the bus as far as I'm concerned. If you have a problem with Kevin Annette, get him on your channel, ask him the questions you need to ask, and get him to clarify the things that you have a problem with. You don't bring on two people, two natives, one of them Alex Hunter and another one called Watsek. The Watsek fellow looks like an elder, but he acts like, I have to tell you, I am dismayed, I am distressed by the fact that even the native community still believes themselves to be above this kind of subterfuge. No, you're part of the subterfuge. Kevin Annette, whatever his shortcomings may be, has been responsible, has been a driving force behind the consciousness of people in this community, in this country, to have an idea how absolutely brutal the, the uh, degeneracy among the clergy, the United Church, the uh, Anglican Church, the Catholics, the Catholics, the, the sissies in dresses who, ap who absolutely rampage through the china shop, the vulnerable, the children, they abuse the children. This is admitted. This is admitted. This is a fact. Now, how can you actually disparage Right, let me address this. My, where I'm coming from, and I, I don't have any proof or disproof about Kevin Annett, what he, is, what he is doing with this ITCCS.org uh, organization, the Common Law Court. He says he has indicted and found guilty the Queen, the Prime Minister, the Pope, and other people of participating in child ritual abuse and murder. Now, if a native community comes out and says, oh no, throw this Annette guy under the bus, I honestly have to tell you, I have great doubts that this is on the level. And from the point of view of honky, white men, acid men, myself, I was not involved in any of this genocide, but my, 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 what is it? What am I, a species? No, I'm not a species. I'm like a subsection of a species. This white acid man has been responsible indirectly i see myself even as being responsible for this as a white man but i will extricate myself because all my advocacy all my energy will go towards exposing the criminals the best way that i can through my work through my art what i am capable of doing and i will not throw somebody like kevin annett under the bus because he has been responsible for bringing this into the public consciousness, into the minds of people who want to get rid of it. And this Alfred Lebermont Weber. I will tell you my response to this person, this person of feeble-mindedness, the way he presents himself on his YouTube. Why would I take somebody like that serious? Well, I took him serious because he brought on Kevin Annett. He has other people. And they go on about their exopolitics and the aliens. Oh, yeah. Now, this is, this is a telltale sign, people. When you get the information about the aliens, it's like 
What's, what is it like to die? What, it does it, what does it feel like when you get your 70 virgins in the next dimension? This is the alien connection to our existence. Now, I'm not saying aliens are or are not out there. What I'm saying is we're going to have to take care of our own shop. We're going to have to take care of ourselves, each other, and not rely on some alien community and force, whatever they might be, and to focus on this like this Lebermont exopolitic guy. He, they're not going to come and, and pull our ass out of a sling with our nuclear, with the, the, okay, the reason we have the nuclear Fukushima problem is because we hate. We hate our children. We hate our children. From the inception of history, we have hated our children. We have used our children. We have abused our children. We have murdered our children. We allow wars to continue. Wars are basically the destruction of another human being is the destruction of the child within, it, within each, each single one of us. And now the nuclear cartel has, has, has obviously topped this and has said, we are the king of the castle of destruction because nuclear energy, the radiation that emanates out of Fukushima and all the other 450 plants on the planet, uh, the, the San Onofre's, the uh, Hanford's, the Indian Point, the uh, whatever you want to call it, all the nuclear plants in, in, in France, in Germany, in Japan, in the US, in Canada, in Canada, the biggest nuclear plant, the Bruce nuclear plant on the planet, the biggest nuclear plant. Anyway, my point is Alfred Lebermont Weber, by having thrown Kevin Annett under the bus, has actually undermined all of us, all of us, the child in all of us. And the way I understand this, that I would even say, because I'm not privy to all the dealings that Kevin Annette is talking about with his international court, you know what? It may very well be that he has embellished the information he's releasing. I have a doubt, and I, I will admit that he has embellished. And I believe that Kevin Annette, if he is on the level the way I believe he is, has actually been very frustrated by the lack of progress towards having told people, like I say, or Kevin Blanche says, Fukushima is the great level, the great leveler that will, will destroy everything. And I even say it's an elimination event, an extinction level event for the entire planet. And someone that says to you, your legs are falling off and you say, oh, it's no big deal, I got a upper body left. Well, this is not a way to relate to what it is that we're facing. We need to face the atrocities, the horrible, the, the transgressions, the criminal transgression against all of life. And the a priori, as I've said, have always been the children, the child in us, the children, more importantly, not the one that's in us, but the actual child outside, the living entity that is being, because they're vulnerable, they can be abused. These sissies and dresses aren't going to come up to me and say, can I diddle you, Tom, because I'll flatten their fucking ass, I'll drive a stake through their goddamn heart. And the child can't do that. This is the problem. And people that don't understand what it is that we're facing, it's not just the native community. It is, it is the spirit that lives within each individual human being. You let the child down, you let yourself down. And this is what Lebermont Weber has done because he doesn't get it. He doesn't understand. He's somebody that sees himself part of I don't know what community he sees. He maybe has some epiphany. Maybe had a visitation from the Holy Ghost. Who the hell knows? But he's certainly shown in, his, in, in these last videos 
that he's completely, totally made himself irrelevant in the fight that we're in. We're in the fight of our life. We are in the fight of our lives. Fukushima is raging, disseminating the most deadly materials and toxins known to the universe. They don't exist in the rest of the universe. We can claim that we have isotopes, nuclear isotopes, ionized radiation, which exists only on this planet. It doesn't even exist in the, uh, in the supernova that explode. The sun is fusion. Oh, but we have fission. And the reason we have fission is because we hate our children. We hate our children. We hate our children. And you, Levermont, you have now contributed first hand by throwing Annette under the bus. I am convinced of this. And whoever you bring out to support your position and to disparage Annette, instead of calling him privately and sorting this out, you have actually undermined this most important, what I call the a priori, and that is to preserve the child. And what you have actually done as you've contributed, like all the rest, all the sissies and dresses, the pedophiles, on a level of pedophilia, you are abusing the child by throwing Anna under the bus. And whatever people say, you know, they say, okay, now if his court is not, it's a kangaroo court, it doesn't really exist, there is still, it, it, it's not conclusive. I would say, that because of the severity of what it is he's talking about, just imagine people. If you're going to start to disparage the queen or the pope or the prime ministers of the world or all the leading people that run the joint, you don't think you're going to be in trouble in some way? You don't think you're, you think you're actually immune? You can just sort of spout off? The guy has to protect himself. And if this court has, it, has convened, and indicted these people under the common law. Research common law. Common law trumps everything. It's not about the maritime law or the canon law or any of that bullshit. It's you and me people, common law, rule. This is the law that has been displaced because the oligarchs, the people that run the show, can't have common law because it gives power to you and me. And somebody that defends common law like Kevin Annette is going to be under threat. Now, why wouldn't you go underground with his court? And for somebody like Levermont, who supposedly is a judge, to actually, to actually pretend that this is not important is, is absolutely irrational, because he should know. Just because Kevin Annette has not revealed the names of the people involved in this court is perfect, makes perfect sense to me. Because if you still think the world is a fair place, well, wake up, wake up. And the children who are being abused and murdered, do they think the world is a fair place? It's not how it works. And we need to defend the most vulnerable and what has happened now and whatever his shortcomings as Kevin and that, whatever he has done for me, for me, I'll tell you what he's done for me. He has been a symbol, an advocate, for the most important top ever to have been raised in my life, and that is to expose the people, the pedophiles, the abusers, the murderers of the most vulnerable, which sets the stage for all the catastrophes to come after. It is an a priori. The, cata the catastrophe, the nuclear catastrophe, the wars, the, the wars in the history of all of mankind have been started because people hate children. I can't be more clear about this. This is so obvious to me. And all the atrocities committed is because we allow the most vulnerable to be attacked. And this is, this is my comment on the Lebanon thing. This, I will attach his video where you can see this guy scrambling to justify himself and they accuse Anna to be a PSYOP agent. Well, you know what? Whoever thought this up, they say, well, you know what? What he has done, he has created a kangaroo court that doesn't exist 
and now we're dead in the water. We can never ever expose or put these people on trial because it's been ridiculed by Kevin Annette. Well, you know who would think of something like this? It's a PSYOP agent. The Lebermont guy is the agent. He's, he is actually accusing Annette of exactly what he is doing. I don't know whether he's aware of being an agent, but he's actually turned into one for me. Ah, oh, this has gotten too long. Anyway. Yeah.